This is Vigilino Custom Code 01101101. And again, in the 10 base math, it's number 109. Alright, so here's the basic gist. We got an LDR here in the lower middle kind of down over here. A uh, light dependent resistor. Now that is also known as a photosistor. Um, I have it balanced out with a resistor. Now how I got that resistor value uh, is by doing the following procedure. Your basic LDR or photosistor comes with most of your Arduino kits. So to start off with, I measured only the photosistor at a mid-range light level. So basically I just held the photosistor up in my workshop and measured the resistance. Now that told me to start around the 100 kilo ohm zone uh, for the voltage divider uh, resistor. I just set up a basic uh, voltage divider, Arduino uh, positive 5 voltage going to one lead on the LDR. And then the 100, I started off with the 100 kilo ohm going to ground, and where the two met, that goes the analog pin on the Arduino. I used a bright LED flashlight as my light source. So my first step was to turn on the bright ass flashlight about four inches above the uh, photoresistor and take the analog pin reading. And then, with the same resistor, Cover the LDR up with your thumb and take the analog reading. Our goal, going back and forth between the two and adjusting the resistor, is to get it to go from 0 to 1 under no light and light conditions. This is the style uh, solar panel I'm using, it's just a little one. Uh, it outputs a maximum of 2 volts at 50 milliamps. Now a great place to get those uh, little solar cells is off those dumbass little solar lights that sit out by your sidewalk. You buy for a dollar at the dollar store and they're supposed to work for five years. And then you're shoveling them up with the crap before the snow hits because they don't work no more. Take those off. Yep, those work. Alright, now if you notice on the breadboard view here, coming off the positive feed from the solar panel, there's a little capacitor there uh, to store up your voltage. That's to keep any kind of fluctuations out. And I just used a uh, 10 nanofarad, 10, 10 UF. Here's your basic schematic. Now all these are going to be included in on the uh, zip file on when it's published. Uh, but basically, uh, analog 6 and 7. Analog 6 is reading it off of the actual solar panel from the capacitor. And then analog 7 is reading it from the photosistor balanced out with the resistor. Now you can kind of get an idea of how it's wired up. Really super simple. So now the reading on the voltmeter coming right straight off of the solar panel uh, now this is with just the shop light, the overhead shop light pointing down on it. It's making almost three quarter of a volt. The basic Visuino sketch is pretty simple. Off the two analog pins going right straight into a formatted text with two analog values on it. Uh, the clock is set at one. And all it's doing is feeding the raw values from the analog into the serial port so you can get your base values. Uh, I can't stress enough how important the base values are to get it balanced out. Okay, so this is what my base readout is. You know, I just got the shop light on, nothing major. Um, coming straight off of the solar is a little over half a volt. 500 millivolt, 520 millivolt, coming straight off the solar panel. Okay, so this is what my base readout is. You know, I just got the shop light on, nothing major. Um, coming straight off of the solar is a little over half a volt, 500 millivolt, 520 millivolt, coming straight off the solar panel. And then the LDR there is reading out on the line at the bottom. So the 0 0.52, 0 0.53, 0 0.53, 0 0.53, 0 0.53, 0 0.53, 0 0.53, 0 0.53, 0 0.53, 0 0.53, 0 0.53, 0 0.53, 0 0.53, 0 0.53,
is shop value like with no flashlight just with the shop so I got that resistor balanced out so it's at midway 0.5 as close as I could get it to 0.5 and then the top one is what we are reading on the voltage input now the voltage input is coming off of the solar panel and in order to get the wattage and the uh, light values and work them we're going to use the custom code we're going to use the on init and the on start we're going to set the pin modes and read everything that way uh, i'll show you how to do it doesn't require anything special except for what we've done here right there all right now that you've got the basic system set up to be able to read the light value and get some kind of voltage in uh, we're going to do something with it we're going to like when the light increases we're going to add a servo so that as the light increases the servo arm is going to move and turn like a little paper dial or something from sun to moon so that you put your hand over it it'll go to the moon you put it in bright light it comes up to the sun now on the breadboard view you can see that all we've done is uh, attached it to pin number nine which is a uh, pretty much a standard servo line and here is the uh, schematic for it and it's just running off the board power five volts and the yellow line is the one for the pulse so this is basically what i've got is just an arm on the servo with a moon and a sun and on to the visuino code there's only one includes in this sketch and that's the servo.h file it's available at the arduino web page for download all right, now the LDR pin, solar pin, and servo pin, those are pretty much self-explanatory. Um, what I really want to get into is the factors, the LDR factor and the solar factor. Now those are for mathematics later on in the on execute section, but basically uh, our scale for the LDR is gonna be zero to 100%. So this is the number that is necessary to use the what Visuino is sending in use this number to get a 0 to 100 output basically it's a it's a map a remap now the on execute is where you do all your analog reading and this is also where you can write out to the servo dial uh, line number eight is where we're writing it out uh, servo dial dot write that's in the servo library uh, and then line two and line five and that's where the LDR factors come in uh, basically it's reading it and then dividing it by that factor and then the bottom three lines that's basically just sending the values straight out of the analog outputs on the custom code and here in the on and knit is where we do our hardware attachments to the pins this is the spot to do it not in the on start now if you look at the on start all of the pins and the ends and the servo positions and stuff we have to have values in it so it doesn't lock up uh, basically in the on start we are preloading the information we're reading from the analog pins and then we're setting the servo to 90 degrees and for just the text output we're basically just giving them the light percentage the voltage coming off the solar panel and the solar uh, servo position blah, 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 in degrees so if you did everything right or I sorry not you me if I did everything right oh it worked it just did it watch watch the arm yeah so the darkness come on Oh, what happened? Did this just burn? Oh, uh, I don't know. So, the solar cell, 3.39 volts. Point, yeah, it's, yeah, it 3.7 on the multimeter to four, yeah. So that's working. The light's at 40% on the LDR, which is letting the handle kind of sit halfway. If I cover the LDR, it drops. And if I use the flashlight, 
it goes up. See? Different. And it also registers on the screen. Putting the flashlight down on the solar panel, I get 2.2, 2.25 volts, two and a quarter volts. So, right on, it's working. So, yeah, right on. So this is just to give you uh, an idea uh, what you can do with uh, LDRs, solar panels, stuff like that. Uh, and this is also to give you an idea how to set your pins for using the custom code uh, uh, like free analog reads and your digital rights and all that doohickey crap, you know? So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. You know, you can, let me get this right, like, share, comment, subscribe, or don't. It's all good. Peace.